Social conditioning has a strong grip on most of our everyday lives. You have no idea how much of your decisions and how many of your choices are actually being influenced by social conditioning, by the narrative that you're being fed by the social media, through TV, through all kinds of platforms, whether that be radio or even a billboard or even people in your life that you see as friends and family are perpetuating this information at you and telling you how things are supposed to be. You'll hear stuff like, you should go to school and get a good job, get a degree, cause then you can land a job that actually will pay you a lot more and you'll be safe. When in all reality, many of the students that graduate with master's degrees don't end up getting a higher paying job than somebody without even a college education. So what's really going on here is that there's a disconnect between society's narrative of being a good boy or girl or citizen and the actual reality of having success in your life. If you want to achieve your goals, you have to disconnect from this noise, this fluff. It's coming through in pop songs. It's coming through in the channels you might watch on YouTube. It's coming through in some of the books that you're reading. Everywhere you're getting this information and a lot of it is telling you that there's this path and if you just walk it and you just follow it, then everything will work out okay. And what you realize is the more that you go into it, the less you get back. The more depressed you might become, the more worried, the more you see like the future isn't turning out the way that you wanted it to be, the more you feel like you don't have any control of your goals and you're just kind of hoping for the best to happen in your life. And I can really relate to that because that was me. Up until about 17, 18 years old, I bought into the system. I thought, okay, I'll go to school, I'll do well, I'll get the good grades. And I tried my best, for some reason it just didn't click and before I knew it, I just had to drop out because like, what was I supposed to do? I mean, I wasn't gonna succeed at it anyway. I was gonna fail at this thing that I didn't even want. So I thought I might as well take a chance at what I love. And disconnecting from the social narrative, beating social conditioning is about taking a huge leap of faith. It's about listening to your inner voice, your heart, and hearing what you really want to do with your life. That's what the key is. It's not about me or any other expert or any social media guru trying to tell you what you should be doing with your life, whether that be starting your own business or that you should become an artist because you're passionate about it, or that maybe you should be working for the man, right? That doesn't matter what other people say. You know in your heart what you want to do. Maybe you love corporate organizations and you can't wait to be promoted every year and eventually rise up to be wise president and everything will be perfect for you. Maybe you just see yourself running a restaurant and that's your dream. That's what you really feel in your heart is your purpose in life. Well, then that's exactly what you should be doing. It's not about what other people think is right. That's the point. You know in your heart what is right for you. That goes for your relationship, sexual orientation. That goes for what you want from your career. That goes for spirituality. That goes for what kind of friends you want to have and how many friends you want to have and who you want to spend time with and who you don't want to spend time with. So the key is drop the social pressure that's on your shoulders right now that's weighing you down and making you miserable, making you feel like you have to do all this stuff. I have to go to that job. No, you don't. You can quit. It's an option. Or you can start building something up on the side and then take that safe bridge over. But that's up to you. How much risk can you tolerate? How fed up are you with all this pressure that's been loaded onto your back now? And how long is it till you collapse and give up on your dream? Because that's what happens to most people. Eventually, the social pressure, it gets so heavy that you crack and then you just never give another shot, another attempt at doing what you actually want. And that's what I wanna keep you away from at all costs because my dream is to help you live your dream and you can't live your dream if you give up on it. You have to make sure that whatever your heart is still telling you, listen to it, even if the sound is faint and you can barely hear it. There's something there saying, oh, just try it. Give it a shot, take the leap. And you know what? Your life, it will never be the same again. And I know one thing for sure, you will not regret it. Because at the end of the day, at the end of your life, you're going to die. And you can either try your best to do what you actually want to do, or you can settle for something that you don't want at all.